Video 18, purple and orange readings. So the purple readings, they are readings that come up three times out of the 200 card deck. And they are all related to strikeouts. And they're all related to having a strikeout get away from the catcher. So that either the catcher uh, has a pass ball and the runner is safe on first. Or... There's like something like a wild pitch and the, and the catcher can block it, get to it, throw it down to, to first base to retire the, retire the batter. Um, if we look at this one, this is the main one that comes up. Strikeout 15, drop third strike, 1 to 30. So if it was a strikeout 15, like 99% of the guys are going to strike out on that, uh, you would roll again 1 to 30. If it's between 1 and 30, uh, the ball has bounced. We need to make sure that the catcher blocks it. So you check his pass ball rating. If it's a pass ball, the batter will be at first base safe. If it's not a pass ball, he's deemed to have blocked the pitch. And he basically gets it and he throws down a first base to retire the batter. So it's a 2-3 strikeout rather than just a, rather than just a strikeout. Um, same again for the top one, that is a strikeout one. Now, hardly anyone's going to strike out on that one, but if they do, we can see that there is behind the strikeout one here, we can see there's an exclamation mark. Um, and if you roll, flip that and it's a wild pitch, we'd have to see if the fielder can, the catcher can make the play. Maybe flip that one against his, uh, his fielding rating. If he passes that, get down to first for the out. Otherwise, he's on first with a strikeout. And uh, in this way, I've had pitchers get four strikeouts in the innings. Uh, it does happen where they do miss them and it goes to the backstop. Um, there is a third card. I think it's a strikeout seven, so somewhere in the middle or something like that. But you will get the occasional time where the, the third strike will be missed by the catcher or it's thrown away via a wild pitch and they'll have to retire four outs. So that's the purple reading system. Not too many of those, fairly easy. Just follow it along and you should be able to uh, work it out from there. The orange system, you won't even have to uh, worry about at the moment. So here's a couple of variations of it. Uh, dead ball hit and run, dead ball bunt for hit. Okay, so these cards are they're basically in there before I have any dead ball seasons. The dead ball seasons will have ratings that will have uh, less power checks and more things related to the dead ball, like bunting for hits, hit and runs. So these sort of scenarios will be built into the batter's cards so that when these orange ratings comes up, uh, they will bunt for hits a lot more. Uh, they'll hit and run a lot more. Obviously, when that comes up, there might not be anyone on, but if there is, they will hit and run. Uh, so these things, you don't have to worry about at all with this version of the game. I have 1954 through to the current time uh, being transferred over to the new system, so uh, the version 5 system. So dead ball is not a part of that as of, as of yet, but I'm hoping to have that in the future. Um, of course, if you want to play dead ball era style baseball, uh, you're welcome to use these ratings. Um, it's going to mean there's going to be like 33% of the home run checks um, and a lot more bunting for hits, not mo a lot more hidden runs. So, so that's something that you could do if you wanted to do that as well. But otherwise, just ignore it. So that's the orange ratings, the purple and the orange ratings. Uh, any questions, just ask.